Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much for joining me here. Hope you having a great day. Let's take another look here at Solana, see what's going on. This coin is super, super strong right now, even though it is on the pullback with uh, you know Bitcoin. Uh, it's a pretty solid support level, that 160. Um, and awesome stuff here too. I know it sounds weird to be like, oh, I'm super happy that I had to close my short. Well, the truth is I was able to notify our committee and it's really nice that uh, people appreciate this. Thank you again for the awesome feedback. Uh, basically just saying, hey, you know, close the short if we flip uh, you know 160, go long. Uh, as long as Bitcoin remains in the 68K range this weekend. So again, that worked out fairly well for a lot of folks. Congrats on that. Super happy that worked. But the question is, do we just go long, you know, in the blind here at 160? Generally, the answer is no. But um, we got to assume or presume, whichever one works best for you, <laughs> that 160 is going to be the new support level for Solana. Okay, again, it was just a very difficult uh, level to cross in the past. We can see majority liquidation has been swept. So we'll double check a few key factors here, kind of see what's going on. We'll start with the back end data too, kind of go from there, because liquidation is, um, it's, oh man, it's so interesting, uh, the way that things have been shaping up, specifically with Bitcoin, like it just, it's working like so perfect as far as like just coming up to these specific key levels and reversing itself. While it happened a lot later than expected, I thought that Bitcoin would probably pull back on Friday or Saturday. It waited till Sunday night after pumping the market, Asian markets open, they pumped it and dumped it. Um, it's just, it's a really funny thing how it works out, but it, it all comes to fruition at some point or another. Anyways, the whole point of me talking about that is that Solana has very similar circumstances, only very different. And let me explain what I mean by that. It's similar because it's susceptible to manipulation, right? Uh, as we can see, the majority of all liquidation levels got swept here locally. And this is, again, last seven days look back. And we look here, 156 to 160, all destroyed, right? And that includes a short that I had too. Uh, and then the price continues higher, of course, runs all the way up to that 170-ish, that 172 range, and pulls back. Uh, but when we look at liquidation too, again, just that key level resistance got broken, 162 specifically with liquidation, and continued higher. So I like to kind of highlight that so you understand that, you know, those resistance levels, because again, um, liquidation accrues at liquidation ranges, or uh, sorry, resistance or support ranges. And when that, that, that level is taken care of, the price will probably continue to run in that same direction for a little while because there's no opposition, right? That's basically what happened yesterday with Solana. Uh, but if we look here, though, the delta has since shifted. And I'm happy about this because this was way too high at one point. So this basically allows for us to un understand that if Bitcoin doesn't continue to pull back super hard, we should see a bounce at the 160, 165 range here for Solana based on the simple fact that there's, there's not like a stupid amount of, of longs in the market, okay? And that was really, you know, leading into the weekend, we saw a lot of that, or you know, I guess halfway through the weekend, rather, it became very long heavy. Okay, and that's generally not a good sign. We can see our, our um, this isn't necessarily a point of control, but open interest is kind of an area of, of re retracement. So we can see 155 as that area. So if we do lose 160, 155 would be secondary to that because that's where we have the most amount of longs open. Okay, so that's basically the open interest level. So take a look here at Solana on the, uh, the daily time frame. Let's go and work our way down. In fact, we can actually start with a weekly and go from there because it's important to kind of recognize the um, you know the macro. So let me go ahead and clean up the chart a little bit here, get rid of kind of a couple of these little lines. And then um, what we want to talk about is, uh, well, generally speaking on the weekly time frame, we want to look at the SMAs and then also support and resistance levels. So let's take a quick look here. We can kind of see that we're over to 20 day SMA. Uh, pretty much all moving averages are below the price action. That's a good sign, okay? So if generally speaking, we got some good support at that 150 to 155 range. That's roughly about 148 for that level there. We can see we're over 50 on the RSI. Stochastic is swinging up here. MACD is converging. Uh, these are all very, very positive signs on the weekly. It does imply further upside is likely for Solana. Uh, again, just based on that, that simple fact that we have good momentum, we're above a lot of key levels, and the overall sentiment here is very good. Keep in mind there's a fair value gap because last week, of course, um, you know the price gapped up way too hard, way too fast. So overall, 152 to 161, that area could get swept. So just say Bitcoin pulls back to 66, 65K, or 64.5 is golden pocket on the macro. We could very well see a range of 152 uh, to be retested and then a pivot from there. Okay. Oftentimes, fair value gaps work as these ranges where the price action will, will come down to or bounce off of and effectively continue um, in the opposite direction once that's taken care of. So weekly, for the most part, looking good minus that fair value gap. We take a look at the daily time frame. Similar scenario here. We're above all moving averages, looking pretty solid. The overall sense here is very good. We can recognize too as well that we still didn't break through 70 in the RSI, which implies further upside is still uh, potential or likely. We can also see stochastic swinging up. Money flow index is very high. 
those are all very, very good signs. I like to see high MFI whenever I take trades with coins. So at this point, you know, again, see here, we got this previous resistance, likely to turn support. It already pivoted off of there once, so we may not even see that revisit, but generally speaking, that's what you wanna look for is a break of a resistance and a retest of that level, um, which we've kind of already seen, but we may actually see it again, depending on how Bitcoin performs here soon. Just know though that the Solana chart looks tremendously better than the majority of all other coins in the market right now. It's not that it's, it's not, um, it's not impervious to pullbacks, but it's just when it has been pulling back lately, it's been pulling back um, and bouncing very hard and quickly too. So it's, it's generally a good sign. Let's take a look here at the, uh, the four hour time frame. Kind of see here where you are above all moving averages here. Once again, the trend is your friend, still very, very positive. I'll update our playout chart here soon with our, our next FIB level. So don't worry about those for the moment. Um, but generally speaking, when you draw out FIB levels, you'll take the local low to the local high. I could even just kind of give you an example here. That's essentially what we're looking at there for the pullback. And what that does, it kind of just tells us here that this, you know, 150 range, 155 is roughly that, that area of retracement. Again, that's that, that significant support range. What I mean by that is 0 0.382, 0 0.5, and 0 0.6 and 8 are the three most commonly retraced two areas. And this 0.5 FIB level is, one, is right there at 160, the previous high. So if the price pulls back halfway in this push, then it'll likely pivot and continue higher from there. So again, that reaffirms 160 is a solid consideration for entry. And when we take a look here at MACD, it is diverging or trying to diverge, hasn't fully yet. Uh, Stochastic is definitely pulling back. RSI came back down under 70. So if you had a long position open, this is always a good rule of thumb. Consider selling uh, once the RSI comes back below 70, because that generally implies that the bullish breakout that uptrend is discontinued so congrats i know some people were talking about that in the in the chat recently uh, good job closing at that level we can see money flow index is still above the rsi generally a good sign and then we can also also recognize too in the hourly that uh, we are still above the cloud unlike other coins so this is a good sign in general to see the rsi or sorry the um the lagging span for and clear conversion line, the baseline are intersecting, but we're still above the cloud. Basically just telling us we have a nice, good still, <laughs> uniquely enough, a good momentous trend here. But once more, this pullback is pretty aggressive, but once more also, Bitcoin does look like it wants to run to the downside. So it's a very, very uh, tricky little market. So I would say along at 160 makes sense from Solana, pending Bitcoin doesn't lose its bottom and continue to run. We never truly know what that's gonna look like, but based on everything we've seen here so far, there's a lot of confluence at 160 and then even 152 for that lower fair value gap there. So two DCA targets would be 152 and 160, I would say, as potential long considerations. So that's kind of where we're at here. Um, I don't recommend shorting Solana right now. It's just too strong. You don't wanna short against the grain here. And um, it's just kind of how it goes. So I'll post our playout chart here in the Twitter, Telegram, and Discord here shortly. And I do wanna say thanks again so much for the awesome support. We got a really, really good group of folks in our community. And um, you wanna be part of that? Cryptocash.tech is a site linked down below. Be sure to check out BitUnix too, folks. This is mainly for my community who's already used my link to register but you get some excellent reward bonuses if you um, get, a, get a chance to check them out. So of course, they are awesome. Be sure to utilize them if you can. If not, that's cool too. Thanks again so much. We'll look forward to seeing the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.